What's going on Freight Skills? In this video, we are talking hiring. And specifically, we're talking about who is the first hire you should make in your freight brokerage. Now, there's two options I can take this video. I can give you the top three people that I would hire at a freight brokerage, or I could tell you straight who the first person you should hire at your freight brokerage is. So I'm just gonna give you that answer because it saves a lot of time for both of us and it, it gives you an honest answer and outlook for you to see like where you should focus your efforts for the first you know, startup portion of your freight brokerage. Now before I get into it, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any of the exciting freight broker videos that we come out with. I post one to two, sometimes three videos on a weekly basis, so you don't wanna miss any of those. This is the best information you're gonna get on freight brokering. Make sure you are subscribed. Now, when it comes to hiring, this is something that every freight broker needs to accept is going to happen one day. You cannot be a one man or woman show forever. Eventually, you're going to have to grow a team and there's gonna to have to be people backing you in order to succeed as a freight broker. So, who is the first hire that you should make in this important journey? I am of the belief that as an owner, as a, a boss, as a president, CEO, whatever you want to call yourself, you need to have a very deep understanding of the ins and outs of all of your business. Now, personally, I started at my family's brokerage, and I tell this story all the time, about, I think, 15 years ago, you know, just moonlighting in and out a little bit, and then I managed while I was in school. But during that time, I did absolutely everything that there is to do. I did accounting. I did maintenance of the building, I did sweeping, I did dispatching, I negotiated with carriers, I did cold calls, I did claim management, I did special projects, I did compliance. I touched every single department of the business. So anybody who comes in, if I hire somebody, I have the ability to train them from A to Z. And then what usually happens is they put their own little twist on it and they become better than I am at it. Right? That's the point of hiring someone. That person should get better at you than the job. But you still need to understand the basics of the job. It protects you from not being able to function and it gives your employees and people who work for you more confidence. They will not respect you as a leader and a boss if you can't or are unwilling to do the job that you have them doing. Right? I can make that calls uh, to find carriers. I can take loads, uh, like if I post something, I can take the calls off the DAT. If a pallet's broken, I can make a call to the shipper and the customer and explain the problem for my salespeople. I can do all of that stuff. It doesn't mean that I do because there's a lot of things that are going on. You know, as your brokerage grows, you have other responsibilities. So the first thing you have to take away from this video is that you should have exposure to every single department in your brokerage before you start growing this huge, massive team. If you've never hired an agent before and you hire six agents, you're going to fail. Now, maybe there's a rare circumstance where you don't, but the majority of people are not ready to take on the responsibility of more employees because they don't know how to do the jobs themselves. If you don't know how to do accounting and you hire a virtual assistant to help you with accounting, you're setting that accountant and your business up for failure. Back to the point of this video. The first hire you should make is technically somebody who can act to take off some of your responsibilities that you already have. So as a broker, you probably have your own book of business that you're building, you're doing the truck covering, you're managing your payables and your receivables, you're doing your bookkeeping, all of that stuff. Your first hire should not be a salesman, for example, because if they get really busy, you're not gonna have the infrastructure in place to support that salesman properly. So rather than looking out, you have to look in and you have to see what's wasting the most of my time. If I don't have to do this thing every single day, how will I be able to grow? So for example, it's gonna be different for everybody. Accounting, for example, my brother handles finances. It takes my brother like 20 minutes to balance checks, monitor the cash in the account, pay the invoices, it's a really complex job. It takes him about 20 minutes. It would take me like two hours because I'm not great with numbers and money. I'm good with money, just not 
watching the finances of a business. He understands the intricacies more. He knows how to talk to banks. He knows how to talk to factoring companies. He's really good at what he does. I'm not, that's a weakness of mine. So he fills in for that. On the same sort of concept, I'm the compliance person. Compliance takes me 20 minutes. But if he got on the phone with the compliance department, it might take him an hour, an hour and a half, and he'd figure it out. But I'll figure it out a lot faster. So the first thing you have to look at is what is taking the most time out of your day that you know how to do inside and out, but it's wasting a lot of time. That might be finding prospects, covering trucks, negotiating with carriers, onboarding carriers, all of these duties. You wanna hire an assistant or somebody who could be your right hand person that can help take that stuff off of your plate. You were probably expecting me to say like, hire a salesperson or hire an agent or hire an assistant, but the answer is not so cut and dry. You need to hire somebody who can free you to grow the business, right? You wanna get as much sales as possible under your umbrella, your commission, the house accounts. You want as many of those as possible before you start venturing out and hiring this big team of dispatchers and salespeople and everything like that, All right? So the answer to this question, hire somebody who can be your right-hand person, who you can teach to do everything that you know how to do, the stuff that takes the most time off of your plate, and that is how you grow, right? Start growing from within, and then you could expand outwards. I hope this video helped you. As always, before you go, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I love to hear comments, so please comment below who the first hire that you made was and who do you think you're going to hire next? I'd love to give you some feedback on those answers and I like to see where other people are in their brokerage journeys. All right, so again, I want to personally invite you to join my free group. It's called the Freight Broker Network. It's a free Facebook group where I hang out with all of my broker friends and we talk about loads, shippers, receivers, uh, rates, all the great stuff that comes with freight brokering. It's completely free, open for everybody. Just invite yourself in, uh, fill out the short little questionnaire that I have, and I will make sure that I accept your invitation personally. Introduce yourself when you get inside and make sure you stay tuned to this channel so you don't miss any more freight skills updates. Until the next video, I'll see you soon.